<laughs> That's for ruining cats. All alone in the moonlight. Hello, I'm Prince William. Last week, I created the Earthshot Prize, a way of really trying to sort out the environment, which I own so much of. If we don't act now to preserve our ancient countryside heritage, how will our children be able to enjoy the environment the way we did? Like shooting grouse. <laughs> That's it, kids. Fire at will! <laughs> if we all work together, we can make a difference. <laughs> Stupid Twitter Corporation. They've got a problem with my tweets? Stick to the truth, they say. I thought I made sticking to the truth illegal. Big deal. What are they going to do? Now the Twitter app fact checks me instantaneously and zaps me if I lie. I never lie. <laughs> the economy is working great for everybody. Send. Oh, my re-election odds are excellent. Send. Ah! Trump Tower does not have a roach problem. Send. Ah! Uh. Darling, your heart has stopped. You're dying. Got to send most of Tweet of all. Melania, I love you. There we go. Heart restarted. I'm in perfect physical shape. Oh, hey, I should tweet that. The Prime Minister will see you shortly. All right. The plan is to meet the coronavirus, tackle the problem head on. It's the worst thing for the Tory party since Tony Blair. Yes, it's killed almost as many people. Besides, Life's no fun anymore. All the zipline parks are closed. The answer is simple. Deport it. Karate chop it! Hey Stab it in the back. No. I'm going to face the virus down like Churchill versus the Nazis. I'm going to buy it off with a seat in the House of Lords. Oh, the virus will love that. It's warm, damp and full of old people. One note of caution. Make sure the virus is pro-fox hunting. Oh, the party mm. will go mad. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The fans are livid we fired our mascot, Gunnosaurus. We need a replacement fast. What is it that people like about Gunnosaurus? I don't know. He's a lumbering, tiny-brained monster that winds up the crowd and will do anything for attention. I've got the replacement right here. Hello, snowflakes. Roar! Right, let's talk turkey. But I must remind you, I'm not led, I lead. Non, duck or duck. I think you mean non duke or duco, unless you wanted to say, I'm not lead, I'm a duck. Well, I had no idea you were so smart and sophisticated. And you're female? I reproduce through asexual parasitic DNA replication. Close enough. I'm feeling a real connection between us. Ugh, it's been a long day. Maybe we should go somewhere more comfortable. <laughs> Maybe we should. So, uh, tell me all about yourself. Well, I've got a phospholipic envelope which encloses protein binders. God, you're sexy. Uh, let's hear something to get us in the mood. You turn if you want to. No. Uh, hey, Maybe just time. quiet time. Whatever, darling. It doesn't bother you that you're not my first? I find it an oddly weird turn-on that you've already been inside several million men. Ooh, that's good, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, not that one. Right, uh, avoid spike 17. I'm going to remember that. So you're sure you want to do this? I don't see any downside. <laughs> Not my child looks nothing like me. And you are? Idris Elba. I've been told by the fucking government I have to retrain. Rethink, reskill, reboot. Rishi. Rishi came up with that. No problem. I could do anything. Act, produce, write, direct, smolder. Oh, Idris. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. After COVID, all of those skills 
are useless. I can kickbox, rap, DJ, advertise Sky TV. Uh, the thing is, all of those skills were useless before COVID, my friend. I've got to check this. Could be about James Bond. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course I want it. But extra pepperoni and no garlic bread. That was the missus calling about dinner. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Pizza Hole's Monday Madness. Rishi came up with that too. Are you going to retrain me for a new job or what? Hmm. I'll just enter your job history of the computer here. So we've got Detective Cat, Guardian of the Bridge of Time. And the answer is Care Worker. Hang on, bruv. The computer ain't even turned on. Rishi knows. Here you. This tea is cold. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Took us a while, but we're finally moved in. Won't need these anymore. Can crowns go in the recycling bin? Toss them on the goodwill pile. Out with the old. In California, we're just a regular couple living close to Oprah and far from the paparazzi. Ooh. Mm -hmm. But not too far. The best thing is, no more following Granny's rules. Don't wear your pants on your head, Harry. Don't bath on the butler, Harry. If I want to play polo, in my living room, who's gonna stop me? Stop that. Right away, Megs. Guys, we're calling for a total national lockdown, a clear difference between us and the Tories, but you're my shadow cabinet. I need you to help me sell it. Here. Yes, Annalise. I need to go to the toilet. Well, can't you go on your own? You're the shadow chancellor. I'm frightened. Uh, I can't take you now. I've got Prime Minister's questions in a minute. Um, Kier? One of the big boys stole my sandwiches. John, your shadow secretary for defence. This shouldn't keep happening. My mummy made them. And you should be making your own sandwiches now. Uh, um... Yes, Nick? And this better be something to do with the home office? I've drawn a picture of my doggy. And it's very good. But I need some quotes from Sage about the circuit breaker. Can't you do it? No. I always do it. Look, you guys are going to have to step up and start taking some responsibility. <laughs> no, don't cry. What is it now, Annalise? I've wet my pants! Knock, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> knock. Anybody home? I'm your next door neighbor, LeBron. Welcome to the cul de sac. Baked you a cake. Thanks, mate. Can I offer you something? Garbage crown? I'm good. I just want to say, in the cul de sac, we're like a team. And any good team follows the rules. Rules? Yeah, like the team keeps the noise down after 7.30 when I go to bed. The team keeps their hedges trimmed, and the team doesn't park their big-ass Land Rover in front of my driveway. Sounds like the team is all about you. That is not true. Just read the book, then take the quiz, then move your car, and put your trash cans away. You're worse than my grandmom with your rules. Well, I'm done following orders. If you've got a problem, let's settle this the American way, on the polo field. I'm not riding a fucking pony. My feet drag on the ground. Fine. You name the game. Basketball. Never heard of it. Bucket soccer? Oh! You're on. Best two chuckers out of three. Whatever. Just tidy up your hydrangeas. Oh, uh, by the way, have you seen my polo ball? No, I have not. Table for one, please, but room for more. I'm sure people will want to join me. Oh, Ivanka Trump. I'm sorry. We're all full up. There's a table right by the window. No, there isn't. I get it. This is New York, where everyone hates my father, and sure, like any good daughter, I enable him, but deep down inside, I'm just a liberal New Yorker. Just ask Spike Lee. <laughs> Food poisoning. Get better, Spike. Oh my gosh, there's Beyonce. I know her from like a million Kennedy Center honors. Is the seat taken? Yes, there's hot soup on it. Oh, <laughs> people don't know how funny you are, but I do because we're friends. Squad goals! Miss Trump, if you don't mind. Look, I'll sit anywhere. My father won't be president much longer. I've got to re-establish myself among the New York movers and shakers. Well, we do have a small booth. How are you enjoying your booth? I like the drawings. 
Glass of champagne? Yummers. Leave through the kitchen when you're done. I can't believe you got into a fight with LeBron James. He's a basketball superstar. Have you tasted his ball cake? It's good, I know. But no one bosses me around. Getting tight with LeBron would be huge for us. He does movies, runs charities. He could star in our first big Netflix documentary. I thought that was going to be about how my mom was exploited by the media. Yes, the terrible, terrible media. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. You have to call off this dumb challenge. Megs, I can't back down. I need to feel proud of myself for once. By crushing my neighbor at bucket soccer. Oh, you're so sweet when you're an idiot. Besides, I've been practicing. Megs, what's the basketball equivalent of poisoning someone's pony? Hi, everyone. I hope you love TikTok like I do. I especially love how it has no links to the Chinese Communist Party. Sir, the Central Committee is delighted with the latest TikTok numbers. Not now, Jen. Some people say that TikTok is a conspiracy to steal private data. That's silly. TikTok is for fun. So I am going to show you a fun new dance called the Xingping Shuffle. It is easy and everyone must do it. I mean, should. Hit the music, Jen. Put your hand on your head, just like that. Then lean to the side and lean to the back. Get your face in tight on your camera and give us a close up of each retina. Hit the floor with your pangolin, then type in all your bank card pins. The Xingping Shuffle is all the rage. Shout out your name, address, and age. Xi. Xi Jinping. The People's Republic of China. 67 and hot. The Xingping Shuffle should not be missed, so we'll send this link out to your contact list. And that's the Xingping Shuffle. Make sure to like and follow, and don't worry, I already follow you. Pence, I'm gonna lose this election unless I remind people how great, really great I am. I need a big foreign policy win, like when I took down Bin Laden. That wasn't you, that was Obama. I told you never to say that name here. Sick him, take his eyes. <laughs> Actually, there's a dangerous situation between India and China here in the Himalayas. It's a long-running border dispute dating back to 1842 when the Indians held off a Chinese invasion. Boring. Show me the fun way. <laughs> We're China. We claim this land as part of our empire. No way. It's part of the Sikh empire, which will one day be part of India. What do I look like? A Wheel of Fortune egghead? Dumb it down. Once upon a time, high on a mountain, there was a big hamburger. How big? 50 square miles. Jesus Christ. I want the hamburger. I want the hamburger. I want the hamburger. Exactly, sir. But the problem is, there's only one hamburger. That is a tough, tough situation. Mike, this problem has touched me deeply, very deeply. In the spirit of friendship and respect, I vow to bring peace to these two cryptastic countries. Excellent, sir. You're so decisive. Now get back to the briefing. I put some lady puppets in there. Hot ones. Uh, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Hmm. The bloody northerners are whinging about lockdown again. I thought that's why we built a giant ice wall between us and them. That's Game of Thrones, sir. Some of them are complaining they're locked down too strictly, and the others are complaining they're not locked down strictly enough. What if we treat each city according to its individual needs? I'll go and stand behind the plant. You're from the north, aren't you, Dom? Uh, Durham? Yes, that's where my pod was stranded. I mean, where my parents are from. And it's where you went for your eye test that time. Eye test, yes. I certainly wasn't molting my exoskeleton. Exoskeleton, eh? Well, obviously you speak their language. Uh, why don't you take a trip up there, see if you can sort them out? Of course, but just in case I don't speak their language, or indeed know anything about them at all, allow me to learn what you know with a quick mind meld. I mean, there's something in your ear. Oh, zow, zow, zow. I know the North. Mayors of the Great Northern Dominions, I am here to listen to your demands. Why are you holding this meeting in a pub? According to my information, this is your natural habitat. 
Look, I bring your favorite northern snacks. Try black pudding and knock off cigarettes. Mmm, delicious. You haven't got a clue about us. I mean, what planet are you from? The planet Durham. Look, we just want to be treated with a bit of respect. To make decisions that make sense for us. I see. And to get drunk in massive crowds! Hey! I have heard you. Fear not. You have a voice in government. Wow, I'm feeling so much gratitude. A few weeks ago, I took a big risk and endorsed Joe Biden, a candidate that most people in America like. And people liked me for it. I set a record for Instagram followers. Life lesson, always speak your truth. You set a record for an American man. Ariana Grande and Cristiano Ronaldo kick your butt. Not now, Kevin. I'm just speaking my truth. The point of this video is, I'm grateful. No, the point is, buy my terrible tequila. I'll be back in a second. Nothing goes better with gratitude than a glass of my Watermana tequila. The tequila with the worm. <laughs> okay, Dom, how do we handle the northerners? Annihilate them and build the giant ice wall. Infrastructure project, wonderful. We'll put a garden on top of it. Can't stop eating these. LeBron, I'm so happy we're neighbors. I suppose. Listen, Harry said he challenged you to a friendly game of b-ball. Don't call it that. But the thing is, he's in a real fragile space right now. So you think you could go easy on him? Like, let him win? You want me to deliberately lose a game of basketball? Just hoping you could help me out. Be a team player. Who said I'm not a team player? Are you saying I'm not a team player? I'll lose this game if I want to. I can miss a shot. Check this out. I'll work on it. <sighs> Another rainy October day in old Brexity Britain. Oh, I could really use an island getaway. Me too. Another blonde bombshell for you, Prime Minister. Ooh. <laughs> Even for a fantasy, seems a bit much. Miss uh. Patel? We refugees have been waiting so long. When do we go to Great Britain? When you can name every English monarch, earn 30 million pounds a year, and drink 15 pints of Stella and still drive. <laughs> he dodges, he weaves, he deceives. Yeah, you've got mad skills. OK, I can see the game. We done? Oh, not until you've been schooled right, proper giant piss pot. Now we're done. I'm in the net! Ten points for me! Hey, Grimes. Been working on your latest mega hit? No, I had our baby. Oh, right. Congratulations. Are you going somewhere, honey? <sighs> I'm not sure how to break it to you, Grimey, but I'll put it as gently as I can. I'm going to Mars forever. See ya! Wait, Mars? Like, over by Jupiter? Oh, I've always wanted to see that area. It's really more of a business trip. I'm starting a whole new civilization. Can I'll be the songwriter for that civilization. Just think, a whole planet with nothing but my music playing on and on and on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I totally got an idea. Mars, rhymes on Mars, red planet. Mars, rhymes on Mars, red planet. No, no. You need to stay here to look after little XA-12. You mean our baby? No, my prototype self-driving submarine. Okay, darling. Please leave me something to remember you by. Like your money? It's all yours, Grimy. I've got five billion in Bitcoin. The password is one. Red Planet! Sir, about the China-India border crisis in the Himalayas. We need to send a top negotiator with impeccable qualifications. I've got just the family member. Oh, no, not Jared. Anyone with Jared. Send in Jared! 
Ivanka, sweetie, how you doing? J-Man! Put her there. Cushy, I got a mission only you can handle. I'm sending you to the Himalumu Mountains in Southeast Krapistan. Himalayas, Indian subcontinent. That's right, Jared, get in there. Use your charm and personality. That electricity we all feel when you explode into the room. Whoa! Calm down! Save that passion for the Himalumu hillbillies. Jer Bear, this could be great for our image. Bringing peace to the world would really impress my liberal New York friends. Please. Oh, thanks, Boo Boo. We're in, Daddy. Great. You leave tomorrow and learn the Chinese language, whatever it's called. Good boy. That's my whisket. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> that mug Rishi Sunak said musicians should retrain for other jobs. So I did. I'm a car alarm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> well, I played a great game. And LeBron did his best. But I'm willing to call it a draw. You can call it that if I can call myself a movie star. The main thing is, I stood up for myself and earned the respect of our new neighbor. A new friend? Get out of my hot tub. <laughs> I'm David Attenborough sitting in my own garden. By pure chance, a miracle of nature is happening right in front of me. A butterfly about to emerge from chrysalis. And thanks to Instagram, I can share it with the... Why is this thing buzzing and flashing? Did you remember to charge your phone? No, I fucking didn't remember to!